Hey everyone, we're standing outside the Microsoft conference that just finished and I'm standing here with uh, executive editor Eric Brodvik and editor-in-chief Hillary Goldstein. You guys, we saw a lot of really cool stuff at that con uh, conference. What struck you as the coolest thing they announced? That Netflix announcement. I don't know. I mean, the games were amazing. They showed Fallout. They showed Resident Evil. They announced Final Fantasy 13. But for me, just being able to stream movies for my 360, all of a sudden, it really is that home media thing that I've always wanted, just all in one box. You know, to me, though, Gears was the biggest thing because that's the, you know, they showed Resident Evil. They showed Fallout. Those games are coming out to other systems. But Gears is the Xbox-only game. So to me, that's the biggest deal. You want that to be the best game of the year. You want it to be the prettiest-looking game, the coolest-looking game, the funnest-looking game. And I thought that was definitely, actually, to me, that was the show killer because that was the one where I'm like, I can't wait to play that and then make fun of the PS3 guys because they can't play it on the PS3. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there was one portion of that conference that was a little unsettling for me and it was the Avatar concept. You know, this is the first time ever that you'll be able to use a Nintendo idea on the Xbox 360. I also like that their music game Lips basically steals the interface from SingStar. So really Microsoft is definitely kind of pulling around from uh, all different places. To be a little less cynical, it's a cool idea. I mean, everyone loves it on the Nintendo Wii and now it's on 360, so can you really be angry at that? So what about the redesign for the actual dashboard? Do we like that? Do you think it's a little too much like other competitors out there? I think it was completely necessary. Everyone knows going around the Xbox Live Marketplace is a disaster trying to find anything because there's just so much up there. And hopefully with this new redesign, you'll be able to actually find the content you're trying to get to quickly. Yeah, no, I definitely like it. And I mean, their blade system that they've been using for the last three years is kind of unattractive and hard to navigate. So they need to do something. And if you're going to introduce 3D avatars, I think you got to kind of switch up the look, the look of uh, the system. So yeah, it's a good, it's a good go. All right, so the platform leader for the PC, right? I mean, this is Microsoft we're talking about, big time PC. And so what do we got? We got like Fallout 3 DLC, and I think the Last Remnant's coming out at some point. The Fallout 3 DLC is Xbox 362. So it's not really ours, it's kind of shared. And yeah, and we're also getting The Last Remnant, which is some Square Enix Japanese, generic Japanese RPG, which will be Xbox, and at a later date, because they haven't figured it out yet, games for Windows. And clearly, Microsoft is not really stepping up and being like, we're all about PC right now. Pretty disappointing for PC people. We didn't see that Games for Windows logo pop up too much during this conference, which is kind of unfortunate, right? Uh, yeah, there really wasn't much of anything. I tell you, we didn't even get the you know the pity sizzle reel. They usually throw games from Windows every year. You know, like here's some games from Windows games. We didn't even get that. I, I'm I'm just kind of kind of furious, just a little. Good showing from Microsoft, not so good showing for Games from Windows. Hopefully, we'll see a little bit better showing in the future. Thanks, guys.